those of you who have been following along with the Japanese maple videos, we're headed into winter time now, and I think we're at uh, November 4th right now today. And I want to show you guys what these maples are looking like and show you that even though they're seedlings and even though they're going to have genetic variability, they still turn a brilliant red in the fall time. Let's go take a look at them. All right, so here they all are, and these are all our little seedlings that we've had sitting in this tote all summer long, and aren't they just turning an awesome red? For the most part, like I said, there will be a little genetic variability. Now this one in here, it's got a little more green, but it's also in deeper shade down in there. These guys being out in the full sun will turn even nicer red than they are now, but they're just absolutely beautiful. So my plan is to wait a few more months until all those leaves fall off when it's really cold and those guys are dormant and they're just hardened off really well and those roots have solidified right in their place so that they're not going to be able to break off easily. And then I'm going to go back in there, I'm going to dig all those guys out of there, we're going to get some one gallon pots and we're going to pot all of those up later in the winter. So hang in there, here we go. All right, so it's been three seconds for you guys, but three months for me. I got to do all the waiting around here, man. What's up with that? So anyway, let's go take a look at these Japanese maple. Uh, it was November 4th, the last time you guys saw this, and now it's February 5th, so we're three months later, and all the leaves have fallen off of them. It's time to pop these guys up while they're still dormant before we head into spring. There's our little beauties right there. So as you can see, all the leaves have fallen off. All that brilliant red is gone. Remember that? Wasn't it beautiful? But look at what we've got left over. So we've got Johnny. Jeez, buddy, come on. So we've got all of these little individual Japanese maples, and they are really sturdy and strong and stout. And I love doing this. Leave the seedlings in the box here for an entire season all the way till the next winter and now those roots were growing strong this is probably going to be a mess to undo here but these roots were growing strong through the summer through the spring summer and fall and now they've hardened off it's been freezing hard as a rock out here on and off through the winter uh we're in zone 8a to b depending on the area you're in and so we kind of hover around freezing through the winter, you know, sometimes in the high 20s to mid 40s. But uh, these guys, these roots are really nice and hardened off now. And you can just throw them around, mess with them, rip them apart, and they'll just bounce right back in the spring. So let's get these guys potted up. All right, check this out, guys. Those were all those seedlings, man. Look at that mat of roots. We got to pull these guys apart. It's winter time now, and these roots, they've gotten really well developed and now it's winter they've hardened off and everything is dormant so you can be pretty rough with these guys and it's not going to affect them much so i can like pull these apart right here i think last time i did this i didn't have quite so many of them <laughs> i got a lot of these suckers they were a lot easier to pull apart before and there you go so there's one seedling that i'm going to be able to pot up and I know it seems like I'm really messing these roots up, but like I said, they're dormant right now. And I'm going to pull them all apart, throw them in a pile. There's another one here. And I'm just going to pot them up. And these guys will bounce back perfect in the spring without any problems at all. So let's finish getting these guys pulled apart. Hey guys, check this out. I'm sitting here tearing all these guys apart and look what I just saw. Right there in the soil. Look at that little Japanese maple seed. It was still sitting there. It sat in there all summer. It just laid there and all fall and most of the winter and it just sprouted all on its own. I did nothing. Kind of crazy. All right, so there they are all pulled apart and uh, ready to start potting up. You can see nice little root balls. So we got them seedlings going good. These guys just started last year and they've already got tons of strong roots on there. You can see I've got them all pulled apart individually. I'm going to get to potting these guys up in one gallon pots. And heck, I could probably do two gallons on some of these. But these guys are going to be really nice uh, red leaf Japanese maples to either sell or... And I actually have plans for some of them. Some of these bigger ones here, I'm going to do some grafting with my blood red Japanese maple and see how that works. And then uh, also my wife's lace, lace leaf Japanese maple. And we'll see how that goes. But... Good strong root systems, nice little seedlings, and uh, 
we're gonna go ahead and get these guys potted up. Got them all potted up and uh, kind of hard to see in there against the black pots, but uh, they're all potted up, they're all fertilized. Put a little bit of preen on there to keep them from uh, germinating all kinds of weed seeds, but I'll water them in real well. And this spring we should get tons of new little beautiful leaves growing off of these guys. We ended up with 41 of them throughout all that. You guys have followed me for over a year from collecting the seeds all the way through germinating them and then growing them on through the summer and now potting them up. So we've gone full circle here and we've got some potted up, beautifully rooted, gonna grow awesome this summer, Japanese maples. And those guys will be ready here soon for grafting or just growing on through the summer or selling or whatever it is you want to do with them. So I hope you've enjoyed this little series. I'll make updates to them guys when it's time this spring. We should see plenty of new growth taken off on those guys and I'll let you know how it's going. So if you like the video, please like it. Subscribe if you want to follow along. We are headed into spring. I am super excited about that. I hope you guys are too. I'll catch you in the next video.